Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about the new Zombies Game Mode Outbreak. So randomly throughout the map you'll find these little Ethereum crystal clusters. It's like the same in D Machine when you go through the um, portal. You just go up to them, smack them and they'll give you some essence, salvage, <laughs> random weapons. Probably perks, I wouldn't see why they changed that but I haven't got any of those yet. So throughout the Outbreak maps, there will be these little 500 essence like perk things. So what you have to do is you have to do these little parkour puzzles to find them. And then once you once you just jump through it, then you'll just get the 500 points. And the next thing that I found out is that there are three different sized boxes. You have a large, medium and small box. These will give you varying amount of loot depending on which one you get. The small boxes usually just give you like one drop of each salvage and maybe a piece of equipment. The medium boxes will give you about two to four pieces of salvage and some equipment and there's a small chance of getting a weapon. And the large boxes tend to give you around six pieces of salvage, three, 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 three. Almost guaranteed weapon drop and armor, ammo, and the chance for equipment as well. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is what happens when you complete your first objective, second, third, fourth, etc. every single time. So what happens is an anomaly will spawn. <laughs> And you will go up to this anomaly and press X, F, E, square, whatever the fuck you want to use with your button. And then there will be a pack of punch that spawns in, equipment station, where you make your armor, upgrade your guns. And then usually there will be one or two boxes around the area as well. And then you just what you do is you just stack up, you pack a punch, if you have enough points get tier 2, get tier 3 in later rounds, loot around for the boxes and everything and then you go through it and you can have the option to warp to the next station or you exfil and then run out of your crystals as they are at the moment. The My next mission that I'm going to be talking about in the video is, is the escort mission where you export sure a little monkey and a little rover fight. type thing Keep down a pathway the and then into the Aether portal kind of thing. As you go across, it will scan two or three small ether portals and it will say too small, like ether corrupted or something around, like, along those lines. And uh, when you get to the final point, it will then scan, stand still, and you will then finish that and then go to what I said earlier in the video where you go and you unlock your pack of punch and all that at, before you go through to the next point or exfilling. There's also another variant that I found of this where instead of scanning the portal and then continuing on a line, he goes, he scans the portal and then goes inside of it and gets launched and then you have to go run and catch up for it. Um, this is the same thing again, you keep doing this over and over again and then you get to the final point. He scans the portal and then goes through up into the air and then you completed that and you go, and you go to your final objective. This is a really simple mission. All you have to do if you payload over what's before is you just stand next to it and it pushes it along just like payload. And it's really it's really that simple. It has quite a lot of health, so you should be all fine with it not dying or anything like that. The main worry will probably be like the manglers and stuff, but I got lucky in my gameplay and I found an RPG, so I just want to have them all. Any sort of explosive gun should be fine. If you've got the street sweeper, I feel like that'd be pretty strong, I don't have it, but you know, the war machine now also does quite a lot of damage towards them. Dimensional exposure yeah. is already affecting the specimen. The next game mode that I want to talk to you guys about is the holdout slash survive game mode. Basically, you're going to plant some C4 onto a giant Ethereum crystal. It's then, with the power, going to send you into this little haste, like base headquarter type thing. And while you're there, you're going to basically just survive for four minutes and then you'll die. The best strategy that I've come up with for this really is just making sure that you, whenever you can repair the windows and stuff, the um, hellhounds, they will just straight up blow any barricades you have away completely. Be careful of getting cornered because it is very easy to be cornered within this game mode. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You just survive for four minutes and it'll kick you back out and you have completed this mission and you are free to exfil or walk to the next map. You got your comeuppance. Also, here's just a little bit of quick gameplay of the GTV survival game.
The other thing I want to talk to you about is one of the two new bosses found within the game. He is called the Tempest. He is pretty much just the Avogadro. He shoots electric at you, everything like that, teleports around. But instead of only taking melee damage, you can hit damage from any gun in the game or any piece of equipment. That's all. Enjoy the boss fight. I want to talk to you about is the Panzer. He, as far as I'm concerned, is the same as other bosses. There's no set real way to spawn him in. He just kind of spawns in freely whenever he wants. Um, he has the obviously flamethrower attack, which um, didn't really seem all that powerful and strong when I was fighting him. He also has an attack where he just like hits you in the face and does about 40 damage of armor on. He also shoots fire at you as well, like like not via the flamethrower. Overall, he is a pretty tanky boss. I found that the new ammo type helps to um, give extra damage towards him. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this boss fight. Pick the wrong fight. The next thing I want to talk about is another game mode um, where you have to basically retrieve these Ethereum crystals inside of canisters and bring them into a rocket that then gets sent up into space. So this game mode is another pretty simple and easy to do one. Basically what you have to do is you just go over to the thing, you like hijack it out of the ground, you pick it up and you are then given the crystal. It works the same as with Sergei's head, the golden bull and the team machine Easter egg. You are a lot slower, but you are given a custom field upgrade which you can only get while holding this. It is the Ethereum Crystal Canister Field Upgrade. So it basically works in a similar way to the way the energy mines work where it sends off a little shockwave that kills everything around it. Only you no longer have to wait like for it to start exploding. It instantly explodes and it's a one charge, one burst kind of run. Thank you for watching. Quickly, I just want to add a small clip showing just how strong the flame bow is against new bosses. The next mission I want to show you is a randomly spawning side quest. Basically, from my understanding, what you do is you go up to a dead body on the ground. He has a requiem meeting that he wants to show you on a tape recorder. You listen to it. It yeah, then spawns in a horde, you kill the horde. This is how you will find the megatons within this game mode. As when you go up to this, a megaton will spawn in. So basically, it's simple, it's simple as this. You just want to go up to the horde, kill everyone there, and beat the megaton. And then you... I got rewarded with a random perk drop. I believe this is in the um, PS4 exclusive game. Mode, but I've never seen it before. So yeah, it was pretty cool bringing those kind of perks back over into the main game. And yeah. Good hunting. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Requiem thanks you for your support. The next side quest I want to show you is the golden chest side quest. So basically, when you go up to it, it's going to be locked. You want to press X or whatever button you press to use, which it will then spawn in on round one about two special or boss zombies. What you want to do is kill these boss zombies and it will then unlock the chest and give you some pretty good loot. The next operation I'm going to talk about is the Collection Sergei Head Mode. Basically, what you want to do for this is you want to pick up his head, which will be found in the same room as where you place it. You want to place it down in this, like, examination room. Um, he will then proceed to start speaking. I'll let you play the audio here. He sort of just makes zombie noises. You can't really understand what he's saying. So you pretty much... It's the same as the monkey game mode in a way. You just want to defend the upside, make sure that it doesn't get blown up. But I feel like it's pretty hard to do because that's such a lot of health. And yeah, you can watch just, it's about three or four minutes again. You just sit there, you just shoot zombies, make sure he stays alive. It's a pretty good point building game mode, but just constant zombies coming at you for four minutes. Um, and yeah, it's 
pretty good fun game right now. Let's go to the gameplay. thing I found is a little easter egg thing if you climb up the church in the new map you will find this little portal uh, what you want to do is you want to melee it a couple times and it will then fly away into the distance and you just get a whole bunch of essence out of it the next game mode that I want to talk about is probably my personal favorite the dragon from like the rising drac basically in this what you do is you just as expected, you kill a whole bunch of zombies. There's a little bar that you can see on either side of it when you activate. Once you've reached that to maximum, it will give you a golden chest, the same as you get from the other Easter egg. And I, I believe on one of the other attempts I did when I was playing as a fill, we didn't fill up completely, so we got a large chest. So I'm guessing if you fill it up about a quarter of the way, you'll get a medium chest, and barely old, you'll get a small chest. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay of me completing the Dragon Side West. That's a multiple. The next and final game mode that I want to talk about is the eliminating the target game mode. For this, it's pretty much self-explanatory. All you want to do is you just want to go up to the go up to the enemy. You just want to keep shooting him, shooting him, shooting him until he dies. Um, he's pretty much like an elite. Elite is, I guess, the best way to describe it. It's like he's an elite but extremely strong. The one that I got in this was the. Megaton, but I also have in previous runs gotten the Panzer, and I'm guessing there's also going to be a Mimic, a Tempest, and the rest of the bosses that come in the future as the game gets updated. So yeah, it was a pretty fun boss fight. He, he does take a lot of bullets, so he is pretty tanky, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty, it was a pretty fun little boss fight there. Taking out these commanders is no small feat, but slowly we're making a dent in their forces. <laughs> the final thing I want to talk about in this video, gameplay wise, is the exo process. This is the same and different as normally found in the normal round based game modes and zombies. So, what you want to do is you want to run over. And this takes quite a while because I didn't have stamina up, but I feel like if you have stamina up or a Kai, it'll be a lot faster. Good so basically, once you end up in the Exfil site, instead of having a set amount of zombies to eliminate, you have to kill the zombies within that area. So if, if you manage to lure all the zombies out, then I feel like that just instantly that you go in. So it's a bit of a twist on the original Exfil system, which I honestly enjoy a lot more than the original one. And I feel like X-Filling as of right now is very useful in the higher rounds instead of just going to you die in this game mode if you really want to get those crystals because they are really expensive. Four of the refined and five of the flawless crystals used to get per tier four and five on each one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this X-Fill. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you would please subscribe, I'd appreciate it very much. It would take a couple seconds of your time. A like as well would be very appreciated. Hope you guys have a good day and enjoy the new game mode. Goodbye. See you in the next one.